Cool. Well, we've just arrived here at our Limpopo North uh, home base um, with Mr. Jerry from Arizona here. It's, a, it's Jerry's first time in South Africa and we are super privileged to be a part of your, your first trip to South Africa and making this dream a reality. So uh, yeah, a big welcome from the Bailey Sipple uh, family and we're looking very forward to the next couple of days, Jerry. Uh, thank you very much, Dempsey. I appreciate that. Awesome, man. I'm Jerry Foreman from Arizona in the United States. Uh, I've been dreaming about this trip for probably 15 years and Luckily for me, I've got two great friends in Dusty and Ron Pop that helped make this possible, and my lovely wife who allowed me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, Jerry's coming to Africa with a, a very keen eye for a, a big kudu bull, which uh, I, don't, I don't think you're alone in that. I think every, every person that comes to Africa for the first time is looking for a big kudu bull. Um, but yeah, we had a, had a very good time in the year now. The rut's just kicking off. The bulls have got nice thick necks. Most of the time, if you see a cow herd, there's generally a bull sort of you know, skirting the outskirts or with them. So I think we're going to have success and we're going to find ourselves an awesome uh, bull. I am looking forward to it, believe me. I'm very privileged to be joined for the, the third time now third time. by Dustin and Amanda. Um, Dustin and Amanda are the owners of Boyd's Gunstocks, um, one of the, the coolest gunstock manufacturers in the world by far. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy to have you back with us for a third safari. Um, one of the nice things about our safaris together is we sort of just go with the flow. Never know what the bush mm -hmm. might offer you. So. Um, yeah, looking forward to what surprises we get to see on this trip, guys. Yeah, Dempsey has said we're going to get a gold medal Hyrax. <laughs> um, we'll get the Franklin Slam. And I don't know what else we got going on this this time. But yeah, we're here chilling. <laughs> Dempsey and the gang is always, always cool. So Cool. Well, we're joined by Mr. Ron. Um, it's his first trip with us. Uh, he's joined by Dusty, Amanda, and, uh, and Mr. Jerry. We're looking very forward to, to hosting you, Ron. I've heard many good stories about you from, uh, from Dust. Many humorous stories, at least. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to our adventure together. We're undertaking quite an interesting hunt, buffalo with a handgun, not something that many people get to do. So looking forward to the challenge. Well, but, thank um, you very much. <laughs> it's a pleasure, man. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. Well, my name is Ron Pop, and I'm from Montana. Uh, it snowed three days ago in Montana, and here we are in the hot tropical weather. But looking forward to a good time. I've also heard things about you from Dusty, but I'll <laughs> Don't believe any of that them. for later. Yeah. <laughs> um, our cameraman, by the way, his name is Spielberg, so I hope everyone appreciates this. <laughs> he seems to have his act together. Look forward to success. Awesome, Ron. Can't wait, Thank man. you. Hi, my name is Ru, and uh, I've been hunting with Baddy Simple Safaris for the last four years here at Dendron and then also at Madikwe. We at Dendron at the moment, a lovely group of clowns that we're having, and uh, we're looking forward for the hunt that is upon us and uh, Jerry is his first time in South Africa so we have a, a good list of kudu and zebra, impala and also I think a springbok as well. So yeah, we're quite excited and uh, let's see what the hunt brings for us.
stunning, man. Looks like I uh, tipped over a very nice Gemsbuck. Fantastic shot, sir. Well, thank you. It was all the pH's <laughs> fault. <laughs> Congrats. Well, lovely, 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 lovely. Perfect, perfect, oh, perfect, perfect hot shot, man. All done. Beautiful, beautiful Gemsbuck. Nice. <laughs> Lacquer, man. What a good result. This is one of the ones I thought was going to be the hardest for you to, uh, to get. She's to gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Very iconic if you think about South Africa and Africa yeah. as a whole. Absolutely. That's in the kudu is probably the animal that comes to light. Great shot. But a perfect Great shot. shot. Thank you. You can't you can't get better than that. Well Jerry, what a way to start your your first day in Africa with oh an absolute gosh. beautiful Gemsbuck. Yeah. This Gemsbuck was in between the mix and the Impala took off. And uh, we didn't take long to make a decision, and uh, you made an absolute perfect shot on this uh, games box. So congratulations, sir! Oh. And we hope there's going to be many more like this on the safari to come. I, I surely this is beyond my wildest dreams, Rue. I can't tell you. The first uh, first proper morning of the safari, we had a, a quick little afternoon session yesterday where Jerry and Rue managed to take that awesome, awesome Gemsbuck. Um, so yeah, we were obviously all smiles yesterday. The plan today is just to see what the bush holds. Uh, we're going to spend most of the day here at home base and I think uh, late this afternoon maybe head to a, a cattle ranch that we know has got a, a huge population of blessbuck and see if we can maybe find Ron a nice blessbuck ram. But um, yeah, the day is still young. Let's see what we can find.
Excellent. <laughs> well done. Beautiful. Oh, it's crazy. The, it's almost like it's really red. Yeah, this time of year they are super vivid and colorful. This is the best time for their coats, for sure. We've got some, some serious height, which is, which is, it is a 17 and three quarter inch place back. I, I might be off by a quarter of an inch, but still 17 and a half, 17 three quarters, that's world class. That's a, that's a good ram. Okay. Cool. Well, we're here on a, a very hot morning of day two. Um, Amanda and myself, we've been chasing Bless Buck the entire morning. Uh, you know, close attempt after close attempt. You know, we were amongst the Bless Buck today. Bless Buck and the Hookthorn. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, you know, Lady Luck eventually smiled upon us and we spotted a group of four rams walking straight down the road towards us. Um, managed to put a quick stalk on them and yeah, by the, the luck of the hunting gods, they, they never saw us and... Um, yeah, you were able to take a, a perfect frontal shot in this awesome, awesome ram. Nice. I think it's a it's a fantastic result for all the effort we've put in this morning, and mm -hmm. yeah, I love uh, love hunting with you, Amanda. So I'm glad we could come right in this yeah. awesome ram. Oh, it was great. Yeah, oh, no. He's I mean, beautiful. He, he is stunning. He is stunning. He's got some awesome length. And this time of year, the rams are so vivid with their color. You know, it's just got a beautiful, beautiful coat. So glad we could uh, get an excellent blaze back like this. Yes. Well done. What rifle are you using for this, uh, this hunt now? Um, I've got a Curtis um, Axiom. Okay. And we're, it's a 6.5 PRC. With a beautiful so. Boyd's gun stock. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, I certainly did the job today. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it hasn't steered me wrong yet, so. <laughs> Good. First of many more, hopefully. <laughs> yes. Cool, Uncle Ron, we're just going to take a slow walk through the, the thick stuff here to the bottom section of the property here. There's a nice open sort of a uh, savanna type area where the blessed bug really like to congregate so it might be a bit early but let's take a walk in and see what we find hopefully there's blessed a bug, correct. blessed bug correct hopefully there's a couple of solitary rams standing under trees and whatnot there but okay yeah let's give it a bash join us come on along. <laughs> join us yes come along <laughs>
So 150 yards. I said Ram was into that female, eh? <laughs> I didn't see the female, but I saw him. I'm like, oh. oh man, did you see? He was running around, lips yeah. curled, yeah. tail up. But uh, ah, how it goes, man. Well, uh, we'll get on some more for sure. Could you tell which way I missed? <laughs> <laughs> I think the bullet's still going to Zimbabwe. Okay. <laughs> no, it's all good, man. It happened there. It was a, it was a tricky stalk in. I don't know how we missed him, but he got up. He got up somewhere and started moving again. And I could see that, that red, that was a red streak. Very, very frontal, like very here. So, that, so I'm wondering if it was maybe sort of here by the junction of the neck and the shoulder. Maybe that's where you caught it and that, that blood came down like that. But, um, you know, that, no, 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 it, it did. He went like a sack of potatoes, you'll see on the video. But, um, yeah. Cool, uh, we've just finished a lovely afternoon uh, session. Um, weather was fantastic today, lovely and sunny, minimal wind. Uh, we've got a full moon at the moment, um, so the night critters should be moving and we're gonna take a little turn around here, see if we can pick up some, some dacre, some of those things like that, jackal, caracal, you know, whatever, porcupine, whatever may cross our path. But um, yeah, we've got the 6.5 uh, PRC with us, the beautiful Boyd's gun stock, and let's, uh, yeah, let's see what you can yeah. find, Dust. Yeah, let's go. Awesome. Okay. Oh, dust. Grab the tutu dust. There he is. So cycle around and try him dust. Nice, nice. Oh, they're fucking nice. tough. No, no, you, you got them. Oh, fuck, they're tough. Ah. Oh. Park the car, walk in, and shoot a jackal and come home. Some animals in the bush there. Nice. Like six months later, I was in my shirt. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Oh, yeah? Oh, no, it's the Akhistan. Yeah, I know it's Now we got to find a place for photos. <laughs> <laughs> find the perfect log. Yes, the perfect log. What we also get here, which is quite cool, is we get to spring here. Like not breathing, I'm like, oh, he may be there. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was panting quite a bit, but, but um, uh, oh. I don't know. Yeah, another... oh, awesome. What a sighting, man. Awesome. That's a fantastic little species, eh? Those, uh, 
Oh. <gasps> that is huge. He'll be facing the that is <laughs> massive. Wow. Well done, man. Look at that. Oh, nice. yes, that's nice. Oh my. Oh, wow, I didn't realize it. Yeah. Oh, covered up so much. Whoa, Check man. it that, eh? Oh, <laughs> that is a stud. Oh, yo, look at those teeth, eh? He's virtually got no teeth left. These guys carry teeth right till the end. Look at that. There is almost nothing left. That is a proper, proper daker. This is like, shit, man. This is like proper. This is, this is serious, eh? Oh man, that's serious. Wow. So this is my first tiny 10, like in the scale of like blue diker to Oribe or whatever's the biggest. What, yeah, yeah. where does this guy fall in? Um, he's sort of uh, in the middle class, I would say. He's the biggest of the, of the daker species. You know, it goes him, then red daker, then blue daker. But uh, in terms of uh, what a gray daker should look like, this is an absolute monster. I mean, look at that when you pull that hair away. Well, this is if, if we can keep this standard up for all your tiny ten, uh, we're gonna have a lot of <laughs> a lot of fun and a lot of luck because this is incredible, man. Oh, I can't wait to take some photos with him. He's gorgeous. Dust, this is an absolute treat, man. What an awesome, awesome way to start your tiny ten journey. Yeah. I haven't seen you get that excited in a while, Dust. No, well, last night we saw that caracal, so we're like, ah, we better keep our eyes open for yeah. that. And then this little guy pops out. And this is. It is wild. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a it's an absolutely absolutely incredible specimen of a of a gray daker. Um, I couldn't be more chuffed. And yeah, this is just starting your tiny ten with an absolute not a bang an explosion. Uh, awesome awesome ram. So well done, man. Yeah, very happy you. for you. Thank you, thank you. So we've talked about doing the tiny ten finally. So we've yeah. officially started now. We've started so now. So in the ten from size from like the little littlest blue diker to the biggest Oribe. Yes. Where does where does this guy fall in in size? Daker's sort of in the in the middle. Um he's he's they actually they're actually quite quite a large member of the tiny ten. They sort of middle to top side. Um we will be chasing late in this far red daker uh, up in the mountains as well as Clip Springer. Um Steenbuck's obviously been on our menu for the last Three years, <laughs> but uh, they keep evading us. But we'll get them eventually. But um, but yeah, um, in, in in terms of uh, the dakers, you know, you've got your your blue daker, which is the smallest one. Then you've got your red daker. Then you've got your gray daker, which is the largest of the daker species. But um, but yeah, awesome eating. So we'll definitely have some good uh, camp fare. And awesome. uh, yeah, let's yeah. Uh, let's head on back home and uh, enjoy a warm fire. Yeah, this is awesome. Morning guys, we're here on the, the second full day of hunting. We had a wonderful day yesterday. Amanda got herself a, a massive, massive blessed buck ram. And in the afternoon, uh, we tried to get Uncle Ron a blessed buck. And um, unfortunately, um, it was just one of those, uh, those unfortunate incidents where the, the blessed buck got away. But, um, you know, for Uncle Ron, apparently it was his first time to ever lose an animal. And if, uh, if you can lose an animal for the first time at that point in your hunting career, I think you've done a, done a damn good job. So, um, yeah, we'll see what the day holds. It's once again a beautiful day. Um, wonderful weather, so yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully you come right. You've got a few new team members in camp to help us with the group, so um, yeah, hopefully the extra numbers will uh, produce a, a wonderful day together. Morning. Don't I look good in the morning? Huh? Isn't it impressive? <laughs> it's another beautiful day in South Africa, and I am so looking forward to this hunt. It's going to be spectacular again. Hey, good morning. I didn't need to really say good morning, everybody. I'm talking to myself. But uh, day two out yesterday was good. Got a kind of blessed book day and ran around and everybody kind of got caught up on sleep and so beautiful morning ready to hit it and got our astute professional hunter and his appy see he has a staff see? and the little guy does all the work i just want you to know that for this safari we're hunting at our limpopo north home base um, it's close to the uh the town of polakwani uh, probably about 45 minutes away 
Um, from Oatambo International Airport, it's about four hours drive, so not too far. It's a wonderful property that we've been privileged enough to be hunting on for a couple of years now. Um, we've got three of the, oh, sorry, two of the big five here, uh, plus Hippo. We've got uh, Rhino, Buffalo, and then we've obviously got, uh, got Hippo, which is always nice to, uh, to see when you're hunting and whatnot, to bump into a Rhino. It's a, quite an experience always. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful property, nice big property, but we have access to a couple of fantastic hunting areas in the, the vicinity. Um, some massive, massive cattle ranches, some of them going all the way up to 18,000 acres. Um, you know, there it's sort of like hunting Jurassic Park. You never know what kind of kudus and stuff you might find there. Always good fun, but um, but yeah, here we've got all your key Limpopo species, you know, um, everything you could expect to find in the Limpopo province, um, plus a few other interesting ones. But um, but yeah, it's a wonderful setup here, and. Uh, Always have a, always have good hunting here. How was that? <laughs> that was that was some good luck. I think it's your your natural scent, Amanda. They just seem to walk towards you. <laughs> yeah, you'll be, you'll be at about 32, about, about 35, 35, somewhere around there. Yeah. You know, because it was between there. Ah, oh, man, that's gonna look good, Spielberg. <laughs> well, sure. Not for sure yet. Um, that is stunning. Oh, and he's got like a little. Yeah, no, he's there. awesome, eh? Oh, he's beautiful color. It's stunning, eh? Wow. That is way freaking cool. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, eh? Yeah, I must say, this is one of my absolute favorite color variants. They are just, I don't know, so striking. Like your sort of tan color, and this would be your, 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 your pale belly, and then your white belly. You know, so that's your, yeah. your, still your color separation. Obviously getting into the, the rutting time now. He came through and you're on the six and you were like, I can't see him. And I was like, you're going to see him. Don't worry. And then went, once you saw him, I saw you flick your safety off. And I was like, and I was like, damn it, Amanda, we've lost 0.07 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. I'm looking and it's there and you go, take him. And I hear click. I'm like, why is your safety Everything we've, everything we've learned. So safety. Is... <laughs> no, 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 no. But what we're saying is like the Impala walked into us, Big John, but at close, close range. Okay. And I said, take him. And then, and only then safety came off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Well, I'm sitting here with Amanda on a very overcast uh, day two and um, we've had a, a bit of a slow morning. We've got had a couple of good stalks but nothing really paid off. Too many animals between us and what we sort of wanted to go for. And finally it all came together with this beautiful black Impala ram. Once again Lady Luck was on our side <laughs> and once again you shot like an absolute champion. <laughs> um, this is definitely turning into an Amanda safari. Uh, Dustin I think at this point is the observer. <laughs> but. Um, but he did get a hair last night. There we go. He so did, he, yeah. yeah. On See, the he's, board. A, he's on the board. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, but, um, but no, it was a lot of fun. It always is fun hunting with you, Amanda. Um, you shot awesomely again. This ram didn't even go 20 yards. Um, yeah, just a, a wonderful morning. Yeah. Always. Yeah. And it's, I, it's not even words. It's beautiful. Oh, they absolutely. And it was, yeah was fast <laughs> just popped out of a bush and it was it was fast and it was close really as well it was very exciting <laughs> but yeah these black impala are stunning you know i mean normal impala keep themselves so clean and, and shiny and pristine and you know now you introduce mm -hmm. this black color and it's just a whole different kettle of yeah, fish it's yeah. gorgeous yeah he's going to look absolutely awesome back at home for sure mm -hmm. so i've seen the common this is the first time i've seen the black impala what's kind of the how did they come to so the black impala occurs naturally in the wild. Um, you know, it's it's one out of every, let's say, 20,000, 25,000 impala that's born comes out black. Uh, obviously, they were quite vulnerable to predators because they stood out, you know, quite prominently in the bush. So leopards and stuff like that really had an easy time finding them. Um, you know, and then a couple of ranches were 
clever enough to capture them and uh, intensively breed them. And now in South Africa, we've got uh, a really healthy population of black impala and it's uh, accessible to the, the average sports hunter, um, which is awesome because they are stunning, stunning animals. And besides the black impala, we've got the saddleback impala as well as the white flanked impala. So those okay. are, that, that theoretically completes your spiral, uh, excuse me, your impala slam. You've got your white flanked, your saddleback, your black and your common. Um, but this is, um, yeah, this is definitely, I think, the most striking of the four yeah. <laughs> gorgeous animals. Amanda, you've uh, been shooting excellently. The animals haven't been going far. Um, tell us a little about this beautiful rifle of yours. Um, so I'm using, uh, it's 6.5 PRC. It's Hornaday ammo. Um, it's a Curtis Customs Axiom, and then it's in our uh, Boyd's Agility stock. Beautiful. So it's nice because it's adjustable to me. Yeah. Um, we brought two rifles with on this trip. Um, the adjustability makes it so that Dusty can use it when he needs to, mm. but then... I saw last night, as soon as we went out, Dustin did the adjustments or whatever, and suddenly yep. it fits him, you know? Yep. And when, we, when, when you and I go stalking, he just changes it and it's ready for you to, yeah, to use. Yeah, so, so it's perfect to, yeah. to not have to haul so many extra rifles with, but... Very convenient. Yeah, awesome. it's, it's been good to me so far. Yeah, long may it continue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well done, Amanda. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, today we are hunting with uh, Jerry, and uh, it's day two of the safari. We've been chasing the, the zebra the whole morning, and they gave us a slip early, early in the morning. Yes, they did. And uh, we, we came around just before lunch now, and this is the area that we left him. And uh, we got a couple of setups, basically. And uh, luckily, the one stallion gave us a little bit of a quartering on opportunity. And uh, Jerry put the bullet straight where it was meant to be, <laughs> and it just uh, threw blood like a, uh, yeah. Um, so we found him, and uh, we're gonna go and, and see and take Jerry there now. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you so much, Rue. I appreciate it. You've worked very hard this morning to help me get that zebra. <laughs> yes, my granddaughter will be thrilled. I, I told her if I could get a zebra, she would get a zebra rug. So she's going to have her rug. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's go and get it. Oh, wow. All the blood. Yeah. Perfect shot, sir. There he is, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Thank you again. Perfect shot. Great. Tell so, me when you're so ready. So glad I could make two decent shots. No. Unfortunately, when you don't get any circulation, there's no blood going to the bottom yeah, half yeah. of my legs. It won't build up anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's a stallion as well. Beautiful, beautiful stallion. Oh, he's amazing. Just a gorgeous animal. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much, <laughs> Rue. Thank you so much. Well, we're going to take, put him up now and get some nice pictures. And there you go. Yeah, I'm glad we got a stallion as well. He yeah. has a beautiful skin. Nice shadow stripes in between. Yeah. In fact, uh, i got to get a picture or two myself. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. I cannot thank you enough. <laughs> I no, can't, it's, I it's can't a... thank Bailey and Sipple Safaris enough. That's amazing. Just amazing. So it's your granddaughter that's getting a, a flat skin? Go, gonna, gonna get a rug, a yeah. A rug, okay. <laughs> and a gorgeous one at that. But I wasn't missing this trip. Yeah, no. <laughs> Flip over the shoulder. Nice <laughs> job. Oh, look at the little. 
Yes. Spots on it here. We got to be almost on the tip of the triangle or just below, but that's uh, as good as a hot shot as you'll get. <sighs> so fantastic. So we did it through the front of the chest. Yeah. So oh, great, fantastic. Yeah. Gorgeous animal. Absolutely gorgeous animal. Well, Terry, congratulations. Thank you very much. What an absolute stunning stallion. Uh, we, like I said earlier, we had a, a very uh, interesting morning. And yeah. they, they chased us around and <laughs> yes, gave us the did. beat around the bush a couple of times. And we left them. And we got a hot tip off for a kudu. And uh, we never found our kudu. And eventually, we were actually on our way back to camp. Yeah. And uh, we bumped the herd again. And uh, we were back and forth, back and forth. And uh, we found finally uh, this beautiful stallion gave us a, a nice line. opportunity yeah. and um, I was uh, telling Jerry um, they, were, they were quartering on she were, he was standing next to a, a female uh, a mare and um, I'm, I'm like if if you're comfortable you can take a quartering on shot and he's like yes I have it <laughs> and yeah he ran about 200 250 meters from the shot bled gave a bl blood track like nothing you've ever seen before so yeah it's a uh, um, Fantastic. He's a beautiful animal. Exactly what type of zebra is he? It's a, it's a Birchall zebra. So Birchall? We, we find you get a couple of different ones. You get the mountain zebra down south in South Africa and then the Birchall zebra occur. Well, they're also down there as well. And um, so we find we in the, in the northern provinces, we have the, the Birchall zebra up north here. So yeah. He's beautiful. Um, so the big question still remains, is it black with white stripes or white what with black, black stripes? stripes? Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. uh, he's gorgeous. But congrats again, Jerry. And, Thank uh, you very much. Hope Thank you're you. enjoying it. Oh, absolutely. I couldn't be, couldn't be more pleased. It's, again, part of a, a dream come true. It's a, a chilly, chilly day three that we, we find here. 
this morning. Um, hopefully it burns off a little bit later and the hunting will, well, uh, we'll see how the morning session goes, but I'm sure the hunting will improve as the weather, weather opens up a bit. Had an awesome day yesterday with Amanda. We got ourselves a nice black Impala. Awesome. And uh, I know you guys had a good day with, uh, with Uncle Jerry. Yeah. As well. um, it started off a bit slow yesterday and uh, we uh, chased a zebra around and around and we left them. And uh, just before lunch, as it started getting warmer, we circled back to the area where we were and uh, yeah, oh, we found the, the zebra again. We got an opportunity and uh, Uncle Jerry made a fantastic shot. So yeah, awesome, looking man. forward for the day and uh, hopefully it brings us uh, better luck than yesterday. Yeah, so, yeah. for sure. Let's see, um, let's see what happens, man. But ah, you know, even with this weather, you know, we've got to give it our best shot and hopefully, yeah, hopefully we can pull a rabbit out the hat today. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to get a buffalo with the 480 Ruger revolver. Today we're still trying to kill stuff for Jerry. And I believe Kudu and Impala are on the list. So help us come look. Oh, I wish you were here. I really do, all of you. You don't know what you're missing. My message of the day is it's gonna be another great day here in Africa. We're gonna go out and try and tip something over, something big, hopefully. Time will tell. Looking forward to it. Day three, just getting started. A little late start, so we weren't too naughty last night, but it was it was a little later for a few of us. I know I know I know I know I know he know I fight man's heil. Horido, horido, fight man's heil. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 So, the reason why you drink with your left hand, if anyone is wondering, is in the That's old... It's actually not bad. No, it's good. <laughs> in, the old, in the old German hunting dictionary, um, it stood there that you must drink with your left hand so that you could salute with your right hand. And that was still from back in the day. This has that, to do that, with that with uh, Hitler, yeah. North African <laughs> I think today will still be warm, but tomorrow I think it's probably going to start to cool down. So. Um, the hunting slow, we'll just stick on monkey patrol. Yes, we'll just stick on monkey and guinea fowl and hare. So that's I got my bag is coming along, got the got the vervet, got guinea fowl. Well, we were, after a long track job, we were not able to cover that, but um, all good. Just, just, just going to get out and see what we see today and tear it up. Did you go through the brush? Did you try back to the brush at all? No, just right at, I mean just maybe the tip. That shot was unfortunately just a little bit high on the shoulder mm -hmm. dust, but um, luckily, um, you know, that, that red will really stand out on that best buck. I think he's absolutely fine for now. 
but I think there's a, a decent chance that we might bump into him again in the next few days. So I think it's to, let's leave him for now and uh, just see what the hunting was deciding. Yeah, luckily we're looking for a white blush buck and a herd of red ones. So. <laughs> that does help. <laughs> that does help. You know, let's see what happens. But yeah, okay. fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jerry, another beautiful trophy. Yes. Uh, a great old, old Impala ram. And uh, it gave us a, a slip a couple of times during the morning. It's uh, still cloudy and a little bit windy. We started <laughs> off chasing some kudu. Yeah. And uh, they gave, gave us a slip. And then we were on to the, the blue wildebeest in the morning. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we finally got up to a, a bachelor herd of Impala. And uh, this beautiful ram presented itself and uh, Jerry made a fantastic shot and it dropped on the spot so I think it is now three bullets for three animals yes yeah so, uh, yeah um, congratulations on a beautiful ram Jerry thank you so much Rue hope you're enjoying it but, oh I'm, I'm enjoying it are you kidding this again it's, it's a trip of a lifetime a dream come true uh, beautiful trophies gorgeous animals uh, you're doing a fantastic job you and Ollie both uh, it's just been fabulous. I, I, I couldn't be more pleased. I, I don't know what else to say. That's fantastic. Let's see what the rest of the day can bring. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Dust, it's uh, shortly after yeah. lunch. Uh, um, we came down to the range just to quickly sight my 308 in. I've got a new silencer that was fitted and um, on our way back to uh, to the camp. True as Bob, the white blessed buck ram that we shot yeah. yesterday. We saw him running along a dry riverbed over here. And after some uh, very speedy shooting, unfortunately, we didn't have uh, our cameraman with us, our trusty cameraman, but um, I'm sure we'll be quite pleased when we uh, get to show him this mm -hmm. video back at camp. But Dust, well done, man. This yeah. is an ancient old ram. I'm um, super happy that we could uh, could close out this uh, this saga and this little adventure with this ram. So, yeah, good shooting, man. Well yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After some serious speed yeah, shooting. Yeah, it was. <laughs> took a second to register what was going on. I was like, oh, okay, let's go. And so, yeah, here we are. So, yeah, good. Close that out. Yeah, awesome, man. Congratulations. All right, thanks, bro. Well, we're here on the afternoon of day three. It's turned from a very chilly, overcast morning into a beautiful, hot afternoon. We have come to one of our, our secret cattle ranches in the area. We're looking for a Stienbach, possibly a, a awesome Impala, and definitely a, some Kudu. Uh, over the years, the Kudus have been left to their own devices. Obviously, the focus here is cattle, um, and you know the Kudus have gotten quite savvy to what's going on over here. So they're quite uh, good at stealing the cattle feed and. As a result, over the years, the genetics has just really exploded and uh, the quality is unbelievable. I mean, just heavy, heavy, massy horns. So, yeah, if we, uh, if we get lucky, maybe we can go home with a steambuck and a kudu, but right. let's, see what, uh, yeah, let's see what we can find, Dust. I dig it. Awesome. Yeah, that's an awesome bull dust. <laughs> I think you're right, his, his horns were all nice and shiny, so he may have been just <laughs> mudding in them up, so. Yeah. Well, all right, well, give it a minute or two and then we'll go and follow up.
blood that was there was there because he stood there for a while. You know, he hadn't, spots. hadn't yet bedded, but he was standing there, you know. Yeah. So he was, he was, you know, he was tired. Man. He worked so hard for that one little opportunity, man. I mean, Well, it's uh, probably a little bit after eight this morning. Um, there was uh, some serious low emotions last night after we, uh, we got a shot in this awesome, awesome, awesome kudu bull. Last light managed to get a second shot in him. Um, you'll see how dark it is in the video as well. You know, we were really, it was the last, last light. this morning we came with a massive massive team to try and uh, find this bull luckily he hadn't gone too too far um, you know they they say that even a blind chicken can find a corn <laughs> a corn kernel every now and then and yeah we got very lucky <laughs> thank you bro pleasure man it was very very intense <laughs> we were just we just walked the road and i yeah. just met chris he's nothing i'm like yeah nothing i'm just walking up just to find you guys and then Two minutes later, boom. Well, this is the, the, the first early morning success we had, at least. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Amanda. Yeah. yeah thank you. No, what happened was we, I was, we, were, so we, we were right on those tracks that jumped the fence, yep. those, those deep, deep marks. Mm -hmm. That was the kudu. Right down the corner. And he came and he sort of cut this way. And Big John and myself and Alfred just organically found each other. And we said, let's walk this grid back to the fence line, uh, to the, the power lines there. Mm -hmm. And as we were walking through, we were scattered about 50 meters apart. So I was 100 meters from Big John. And he's busy. Waving and you know, so I quickly am loading up and I'm running and whatever red dot on and um, Kudu was head up looking away and I came right up like seven yards behind him and as I was about to squeeze off and put the finishing one and he popped up like a racehorse and that's why there was a bit of bit of gunfire but oh, he's there man he's gorgeous. So he ran 400 yards. No not too far. Five, 500 yards and laid yeah. down all night. Yeah. And yeah. then just exactly still right. alive. But he's standing. Let's go have a look man. <laughs> <Maggies>. <laughs> Stunning, eh? Well, you got him there. I uh, was there already. Really? I'm yeah. probably just torn. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Dust, if you want to, uh, if you want to see what we're talking about, look down this spiral here. Pick that up and look down there. Look at the size of that. It's like a baseball bat. Yeah, it's a tennis ball. It's <laughs> serious, eh? <laughs> well done, man. Nice. Thanks. Awesome, awesome. Thanks, everybody. Right, right there. Oh. There's my first. That's perfect. That was that, that, that was, was my that, that was my first one. I said I hit him high. Then that was uh, this is your one here, Dust. That's the old one. Ian. If that was a three seven five, he was he was dead. That's that's a nice shot, dude. That's a nice shot. The nice, height's fine. Everything's fine. I just don't think you got through I don't to the vitals. Penetration, yeah. Nice second shot. This this has been your second shot. This was the one last night. That's the second shot. This this is this this is the guys. This one? This, this is the old one. This that's is old. Cool, that's not now. Yeah, that's Dempsey's, this first I, this no, My first one. shot, I saw, because he caught me off guard, like I said. I, I knew my first shot was high. This is my first shot. My second one was on the side there. My third one's in, the, in between the legs. That's Dustin's second shot. Oh, I thought you only hit it once. He has a shot here as well. No, no, no. What could have happened here is it, no. could, it went in between the shoulder blades. That's exactly what you were meant to do. On the point of the shoulder. That's perfect. The angle was perfect. That should have done the job. Big, uh, big thank you to all my trackers. They did an awesome, awesome job. So that was a, uh, yeah, without them, we couldn't have done mm -hmm. it for sure. It was, a, it was a hell of a tracking job. And yeah, this is your first Southern Great Takuda. I know you've mm -hmm. shot an Eastern Cape before. Um, but yeah, this is an awesome, awesome bull, man. Um, Dust, um, yeah, I'm super, super chuffed for you. Yeah. Yeah, this is, it's always one of my favorite and least favorite things is, is just hunting is kind of the sometimes emotional roller coaster how you go sure. from high highs to low lows to high highs and then in a split second everybody changes we just one of us just a minute before the last shots was like yeah nothing we're just like yeah <laughs> what do we even do then yeah. a minute later it's boom so you're like yeah and uh, yeah. people always like to say you know what are the chances of 50 50 50 either we do or we don't let's just go but this time it was in our favor and yeah 
Congratulations, yeah. Dustin. Yeah. Super, super tough for you, man. Obviously, it's a mature bull, but like, what age class do you think this would be, or how old do they live, or whatever? Because he's but, he's nice and massive. Yeah, kudu typically take quite a long time to reach maturity. You know, at least to, to get to the point where you can hunt them. Typically, it's about eight and a half years. Um, here. This is a 16,000 acre cattle ranch. Um, so the kudus have been sort of left their own devices. The focus is the cattle. Um, and obviously the kudu have uh, become quite uh, notorious at uh, stealing the cattle feed. And just as a result, they get a very high protein level mm -hmm. in and you know they grow these incredible, incredible horns here. I mean, the mass on this bull is unbelievable. We right in the right now, his neck is just a barrel. Um, he's a classic figure eight bull. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think he's gonna be a, an incredible specimen mm -hmm. if you put a tape measure on him, but um, yeah, beautiful coloration, just a massive body. Uh, I would say that these are probably the biggest uh, kudu we hunt um, in, mm -hmm. on our various concessions here in Southern Africa. So this is just a great example of what you can find on a place like this, you know? Yeah, even just the ones we saw yesterday yeah. before him, you just, whoa. Yeah, just unbelievable, man. I mean, we, we saw three or four mature kudu bulls yesterday. Um, we were obviously looking for the right one and yeah, mm -hmm. we got very lucky with this guy. Mm -hmm. Yes. We are back here at the Kudu Ranch, or the Cattle Ranch, should I say. And uh, we, we came earlier to build a, a good blind, um, or like a screen here at some citrus that they put out from neighboring farms. And uh, hopefully we saw a good, good Kudu bull la uh, at last light yesterday afternoon. So hopefully he comes back today and we can make a good shot on him. Yeah? So yeah. Excited. Look, look at, oh, very. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Put the rifle there so long, and then you can move into into it. Okay. Into it. Okay. I'll stand somewhere to the left, okay. and then direct you. But you'll see the bull immediately. Wonderful. Okay. Cool, well, it's day five of our, our safari. This morning we've come to the beautiful uh, light stop area. Um, we're hunting on an awesome, awesome concession here. Big mountain in the back here. Um, today we're targeting uh, something very special. Um, Mr. Ron is gonna be hunting a uh, Cape Buffalo cow with a handgun, which uh, yeah, the last time I did that with a client was 2016 and it was hella very exciting. So this is gonna be a good adventure. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully it all goes according to plan, Mr. Ron. Well, let's hope this works. And you should know, this is the pre-hunt interview. There <laughs> may be no post-hunt interview if I screw up too bad. So, Fingers crossed. <laughs> this may be the last time you all see me. Ron, can you just tell us a little bit about the handgun that you're using today for the hunt? Uh, this is a Ruger Super Red Hawk. Caliber is 480 Ruger. And we'll be shooting 420 grain hard cast lead bullets today at maybe around 1300 feet per second. I wouldn't want to get hit with it and I, <laughs> I hope it, hope the buffalo feels the same way. I'm excited to so, see it in action, yeah. Yeah, we'll see what goes. Beautiful. But assuming it all goes well with, uh, with, with Ron's buffalo hunt, we might uh, be able to give it an attempt to see if we can get Amanda, her first Cape buffalo. So yeah, lots of exciting things on the go. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens, Amanda. But yeah, could could be could be a very interesting day, to say the yeah. least. A double, a double, <laughs> a do play, <laughs> do do play. Okay, but, yeah, good. But uh, let's go do it, guys. Let's see what
and I could see the, the, the side that we shot on and, I, and I, I did everything I could. I could not see a hole, um, could not see a blood streak, nothing. But I mean, obviously there's a, a strong reaction and obviously the guys sitting sitting a distance away could hear the, the retort of the impact. So we'll have to look at the video footage, but real, like perfect bloody cow. And uh, yeah, um, I mean, I was pretty sure it was a hit, you know, and then I, I did everything I could to spot Blood out the nose, blood on the side, everything, because it's went and, yeah, yeah, I don't know, the reaction was there as well, but like when it went and it stood like, let's say 60, 70 yards away, you know, for a while, I could not, I could not find a hole, a leak, I could not see anything, and I was watching the nose, then she went and she stood, and there was still nothing out the nose, I, I could not, I could not find an excuse to shoot, you know, I didn't want to bloody shy of the thing, and the next minute there's nothing in there, and I'm not certain and stuff, you know. Um, so after we you know, had that approach in the buffalo, we, we tried to call and get them to, to approach us, but um, I don't know, I think they were just uh, ruminating a little bit too hard, but we had one car that did come up to us, unfortunately not the car we were looking for. After they took off, I let the, the rest of the guys know to try and cut the, the, the buffalo herd off, and where they crossed the road, they found a bit of blood, so let's see, maybe we can follow it, or uh, yeah, maybe make a plan from there, but we'll see what happens. We're gonna have to call it. I don't think we have any options, any ideas, unfortunately. Um, there's no no real tracking option in here with, with no blood and whatnot. So I think uh, I think what'll happen is I think you will get your buffalo. I just don't think it's gonna be you that's gonna shoot it in the end. But I think you will get your buffalo, and um, when we do, we'll get a nice picture for you, and we'll uh, at least get the, at least get the headgear back. But Ron, I'm sorry about this. The way the cookie crumbles sometimes, unfortunately. Hunt. Yeah, no, I suppose that's what they call it, hunting, not shooting. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I'm sure Andre will find it for you one of these days.
Bradley should do again. Uh, it's fine, you shot the tree. She's going to go down, it's excellent shooting. I'm a little bit deaf after that World War III. <laughs> well done. Oops. That was fantastic, eh? Well done. <laughs> so I'm a crier. No, that is awesome. <laughs> that was intense, eh? Woo, we were in it, eh? <laughs> we were really in amongst them, eh? Jeez. Your first shot was superb. Superb. That was fantastic. <sighs> At least we can say when we got your buffalo, we had to do the buffalo butt shuffle, which is, yeah. <laughs> I think, integral <laughs> to buffalo hunting. But yeah, oh, I just did some on my knees, on all fours, oh. the butt shuffle. No, but... it was awesome. It was a big team effort, Ooh. you know. Spielberg behind the camera, uh, Shaka, Alfred, uh, lots of assistance from Tyler. So yeah, no, awesome. Oh. <laughs> I think uh, I think there's a lot of a lot of curious people that could hear the shots back at the vehicle. So uh, yeah, I think we must maybe either put them out of their misery or let them suffer a bit longer. Yeah. I'll let them suffer. <laughs> well, then, Amanda. Thank you so much. Let's take a walk up. Oh, gosh. Amanda, this was a fantastic, fantastic experience. <laughs> I loved every second of it with you. Being in the circle boss here in the thick stuff, hunting the buffaloes properly, butt shuffling, crawling, watching them bed, stand up, move. You know, it was just, I mean, I think I was breathing as heavily as you. It was, uh, yeah, it was an incredible, <laughs> incredible experience. Um, I think your emotions at the end there just say everything that you need to know about what this hunt meant and, and um, what the moment meant to you. And I yeah. think your, uh, your skill set as an African huntress is just uh, skyrocketing and your confidence <laughs> is skyrocketing. And every single time you get behind a gun, you seem to do something that just astounds me. So I'm super, super proud of you. And it was a, a long, hot day, but um, what a great reward. Thank you. Thank well done, you. Amanda. Very, very <laughs> proud of you. Oh, yeah, it was. What an experience, especially in the beginning. I thought we had lost it and then we found them again. And then, you know, I thought they had us and we're going to take off and, oh, Good man, shooting. man. <laughs> <That's excellent. laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. I think we definitely can have a, a good luck beer now to celebrate. Yes. And then, yes. uh, yeah, the hard work is you definitely. You a celebration beer, not a good luck one. We already yeah, sorry, had the luck. Excuse me, a celebration now beer, of course. we need a celebration. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the hard work starts now. We've got to get a vehicle in here and get this old cow out of here, but, um, yeah, this is definitely going to be a, a, an awesome car with a place of honor in your trophy room. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. How old do you suppose she is? You said she's an old cow, but... Mm. No, this is an, an ancient cow, Amanda. Typically, as they get older, they get this sort of clear-cut horn separation from forehead to horn, mm -hmm. um, which is a good sign of age. They also get sort of a graying on the forehead, um, which you can see she's got. Um, younger cows will have a sort of a darker, bushier hair. Um, yeah, no, this is, this is a very, very old cow, you know, at least, uh, I would say, somewhere in that... At that 10 year mark plus for sure for sure for sure and like what do you what would you guess she probably weighs like body, she's... body weight in a big car like this you know probably somewhere over 300 kilos somewhere in that that 300 to uh to 400 range you know she's a, she's a great she's an old cow she's an old cow but you know the, the grazing here is fantastic so she hasn't really lost too much condition but um yeah. Yeah, i know it's a lovely big old cow this we don't shake, we hug. <laughs> yeah, we hug. <laughs> there you go. Lovely shoot again. Uh, it's fine, you shot the tree. She's going to go down, it's excellent shooting.
Reaction to it. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. Oh, boy, I did get him in the throat. Are you going to be able to repair that for the mount? Of course. Yeah, that's a beauty. It's very nice old boot and she started losing his mind. It's yeah. very short and even the hair on his neck. So Very cool. And he's got the white on the face. Jerry, what have you done? <laughs> hey, wait. We, we fulfilled a dream come true is what we've done. Uh, we got ourselves a beautiful kudu on a great morning here in South Africa. Rue, I can't thank you enough. Uh, you told me just be patient, it'll happen. And you were exactly right. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad we got lucky this morning. It's the second last day on safari. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we took it a bit slow yesterday and Jerry had a, a rest day just to recover a bit after the hard hunting we've been up to. and. Storms have have caused the animals to uh, not cooperate as they should, and uh, yeah, we got lucky this morning with this old, really old bull, and he started losing his mane already, and um, his neck hair is starting to go away. So uh, typical, typical nice, nice bull, and uh, yeah, congrats, Jerry. Oh, thank um, you, thank you so much. It's absolutely fantastic.
Hello, I'm Oli. This is Yuan. Um, today, yesterday, uh, we went and sat in the blind at around 4 o'clock in the afternoon uh, looking for some impala. And I uh, didn't see much going on. Saw a few uh, Elan cows, some kudu cows, but uh, we were unsuccessful. Uh, we didn't see much. So this morning today, went out in hope for expecting a nice impala ram to to come available to us. And uh, yeah, we saw him at about 21 meters, 22 meters with the with the rangefinder. And yeah, yeah, took the shot and it uh, did get off like. 80 meters or something like that, but worked out very well. My first animal with a bow, so five years back then, it was the first time here at Bailey Zippel Safaris, and it, uh, yeah, I have seen some 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 um, impacts with a bow, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna start it right now, and after a lot of practice, this is my first animal with a bow, five years later, so I'm very happy about that, and thank you very much for this experience here. No That's problem. It's a awesome. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Fight man sang. Fight man sang. Cool, well, we're here at the end of an awesome, awesome day. Um, this afternoon we stood up from our main cameraman and unfortunately guiding and filming are two very difficult things to do at the same time. But um, we had an awesome afternoon. We, we shot some guinea fowls and some, some vivid monkeys. Had a lot of fun. Um, until we, we found something to chase and um, that happened to be a beautiful herd of zebra and on our way to the zebra when we stepped out the zebra unfortunately busted us just before we stepped out but there 30 meters in front of us was a beautiful warthog um, it happened all very very quickly Amanda was fantastic we got you on the sticks um, Amanda did a perfect perfect unconventional Texas hard shot <laughs> but it did the job um, awesome follow up very exciting um, massive body pig I must say, for the size of this body, um, the tusks definitely don't do justice because this is a real, real uh, sort of a pig, man. He's a, he's a serious, serious swine. But Amanda, it was awesome. It was a fantastic day for you. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. So thank you very much. Today. Yeah, yeah. Lots of adrenaline and, yeah. <laughs> and, and lots of luck on our side today, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, it yeah. It was awesome. It was a lovely day. I think we've got a bit of a colder day coming tomorrow, so I'm glad we could uh, make the most of today. And um, yeah, let's see what uh, the rest holds in store for us. Maybe we can try sneaking a, a cheeky bush pig and do the African pig <laughs> slam, but let's see what we get up to. But uh, all done. very awesome. good work. Thank you. Pleasure. Action. All right, well, here we are uh, last night of the safari it's been a good whatever over a week or so um hunting with dempsey and 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 rue and big john and the whole gang at bailey sipple has been been fun the lodge is always nice the food's always great it's probably some of the fanciest bush food i've ever made so best or, bread yeah best homemade <laughs> breads and had venison of a lot of what we ate so all good there um a lot of action from us I mean, Amanda was the observer, maybe going to shoot one animal, and I was going <laughs> to, had a whole list, and what are we, I think we tied. Yeah, four and four. We both ended up with four, so uh, you had the... So I had the, the blessed buck, the black impala, the warthog, and then um, the buffalo cow. Buffalo. So. Yep, and I got the kudu... White blessed buck. White blessed buck. Diker. And Rome. and a roan, yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I mean, neither of us had a bad safari at all. Um, it was cool seeing you shoot a shoot a buffalo and breaking into that. Even if it is a cow, you're still what in the middle rush. of everything. I'm excited to see see that footage and what that came out to be. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's always nice to sit here and have a beer and watch the sun go down one last time before got to head home until next year. But um, thanks to everybody that helped made it a a deal for us, especially Spielberg behind the camera. Thank you for capturing it all, and it's just, it's cool. Why we just keep coming back. This is our yeah. third year in a row with, with Dempsey and yep. gang, and... They truly make it. Yep. That's what makes this safari so much fun, is the people that they have here. The staff is amazing. The accommodations are amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. I feel like we just get so spoiled, yep. so... 
even even to the point we brought the two old guys with. So, yeah. <laughs> but Jerry had his fire of the lifetime. Ron had little struggles, but everything is everything is all good there. I mean, get home, and, and some of that stuff stings a little bit. But then you get home and you just remember like having beers by the fire and looking at this and hours of just driving around seeing completely boring landscape and everything. So that's what we all come here for. So mm -hmm. hunting is just a reason to do it. But that's that's it. We think we're just gonna finish watching the sun go down, finish a couple beers, and head back and start packing. I'm here on the last evening of my safari at Bailey and Sippel Safaris in South Africa. It has been a most spectacular, spectacular safari. Uh, I couldn't ask for better pH or a better place to do it. Uh, the accommodations were wonderful. Everyone took excellent care of me and helped me with my issues. Uh, saw lots of animals. The hunting was very, very good. Uh, got all the trophies that I was looking for and great examples of those trophies. Uh, I don't know what else I should say uh, <laughs> other than the, the whole thing has exceeded my expectations by leaps and bounds. I would recommend this to anybody who, who wanted to, to get a shot at doing some hunting in South Africa. This is the place to be and this is the place to do it. The food was better than spectacular. Uh, every night, uh, Great, great meals, lunches, breakfast, more food than I needed to eat by a long shot. Uh, <laughs> uh, accommodations were wonderful. The beds are comfortable, the, a nice hot and cold running water for the showers, your own little chalet, which is very, very nice. Uh, the whole compound is beautiful. Uh, again, I couldn't ask for anything better. It was just so far exceeded my expectations of what I was gonna get when I got here uh, that I'm just tickled pink. Well, this is the last night of my 2023 African safari here in South Africa. It was probably the worst safari of my entire career through no fault of anybody except me. I wounded two, which we could not collect, a buffalo and a blessed buck. Um, I fell in a, an animal hole and twisted my ankle this morning and I'm hobbling around. Had to cancel my trip to Zimbabwe to go see the Prinsloos because I don't want to be there with a boogered up ankle for a week. So got the flights changed and I'm leaving tomorrow to Atlanta, then back to Bozeman. Um, if it could go wrong, it did go wrong, but it was all on me. The people, the trip, the cameraman right here, Chris, made some new friends on his trip and it's been quite enjoyable. It's just the bad luck had to catch up with me. I've had too much good luck for too many years. So I'll have to come back and try to correct this at another time. I haven't lost faith and I'm not giving up. So you'll have to sit through another one of these with me in the near future. Thank you.